G'day, I'm Alistair Christie, Embarcadero MVP and curator of the LearnDelphi.tv website. In this video, we're going to take a quick tour of the Delphi IDE. When you first start Delphi, you'll be greeted with the welcome page. And here we can see a list of recent projects and I can add a project to favorites so that it doesn't disappear off the bottom of the list of recent projects. We can create new projects. There's shortcuts to the VCL and FireMonkey, which is much quicker than going file new and uh, clicking there. We can open a sample project and we see this uh, the YouTube channel and what have you, but we'll open a sample project and we'll go into the VCL split view demo. With our application loaded, we see we've got our design service for our form and we can toggle between that and the source code by pressing F12. There is also a button associated with that, but I would learn all the keyboard shortcuts because they'll save you a huge amount of time and make you much more productive. If I click on a control, we can see in the object inspector, we have all its properties and we can adjust those. For instance, we can see we've got our docked and overlay and we could adjust that if we wanted. And there's also events associated. So if we click on the control, uh, this bit of code will be executed. Above the object inspector is the structure view. Now the structure view will also display all your components in a tree structure form. And we see that our display mode has a, a, it's a group box and it's within this panel, which is in, in turn on the form. So we can select controls. If you right click on a control, you get a pop-up menu. You get a similar pop-up menu uh, from here, slightly, uh, slightly less on it. And we can select controls and make adjustments and things. The main, one of the main things I use the structure view for is we can reparent controls. So if I wanted the check animation, I could shift it to the panel settings form and shift it back. Over the other side, we have the project view. Uh, and that shows all the files in our project. Uh, there's only one, so not very exciting. We can change build settings. And also if we wanted to add a different platform target, I could right click add a platform and we've got Windows 64, but is the only one that's available because it's a VCL application. It was fine. Maggie would have iOS and Android and OS 10 and possibly Linux. And from here we can perform various operations of the file. If I expand that out, we see we've got two files, the pass file and the DFM file. If I double click on the pass file, it takes us to it. And likewise, the, the DFM. There's other tool windows here. The, the data explorer is quite helpful and it allows you to access some predefined databases that are set up. And it's, you can set, configure this as many databases in, in here as you want. And then you can just basically drag and drop databases to your form or application. Also the multi-device preview. If this was a FireMonkey application, you'd have various previews, but it's not, so we don't get to see it. And below that is the tool palette. In here you have all your sort of controls that you can add to your form. And for instance, we could add a, a button. What I generally do to access the, the tool palette is press Control Shift P and then I can start typing, pick the uh, control I want and then press enter to add it. And it will be added to whatever controls currently selected so that the that's added to the uh, group animation. But you can manually scroll through here as well. Much of the IDE is customizable and you can adjust things and save, save those layouts uh, how you want. For instance, I've got a uh, more code where I shove things to the right. This is actually more set up for my when my monitor is running in 4K. So we'll go back to the default layout. We can go to the uh, source code for our application by pressing F12 on the keyboard. And we'll see that our structure view has been updated. We can scroll through that. And if I double click on something, it will take us to it in the code. The other thing I'll mention if for in terms of navigation is the search button. If I type click, it brings up everything with click in it, giving us our unit name and line number. And uh, just a single click will take you to that location. That's pretty much all we have time for in this video. I hope you found it instructive and no doubt you'll hear from me in future videos. 